Prion diseases are fatal degenerative conditions which progressively affect the function of the brain. Our brains each contain 100 billion nerve cells, or neurons, which are connected by branches of the cells called dendrites. These connections allow electrical signals to travel between the nerve cells, and this communication between the cells is key to how our brains work. There are many different protein molecules that normally sit on the surface of the nerve cells, and one of these is called the prion protein. Thousands of these sit in clusters all over the cell surface and play a role in the normal function of brain cells. Prions, the agents that cause CJD, are formed from misshapen or rogue prion proteins that stick together to form chains. These chains grow by attaching more and more normal prion proteins, which also become misshapen. The growing rogue prion protein chains tend to break up as they grow, thereby producing more chains. These in turn grow and break, creating a chain reaction. The multiplication of prion chains damages the connections between brain cells and ultimately the cells themselves begin to die. As this progresses, the normal functions of the brain begin to be lost, causing problems with memory, thinking, speech, balance and movement, ultimately leading to the death of the patient. The human body normally produces molecules called antibodies to fight infections from germs that invade the body. However, since prions are formed from one of the body's own normal proteins, in the case of CJD, our immune system does not do this. We have therefore artificially created a human antibody that binds tightly to the normal prion protein. This can be manufactured in large quantities for use as a drug given by injection. The aim is for the antibody to bind to the normal prion proteins on the cell's surface and block their interaction with the rogue prions. This prevents the prions growing further and stops the chain reaction. We know that the brain can slowly get rid of the remaining prion chains by its own natural mechanisms once they have been prevented from growing. Any support you can offer the Cure CJD campaign would be greatly appreciated.